Good afternoon, YouTube fans. It was a day in America where we all need to reflect upon the current events of today. You ask why I make preparations for a shit at the fan event. Today is a good example of just that situation. Now, grab your thinking caps, put them on your heads, and take a journey with me through a fictitious day in American history. For example, one man walking onto a park ball field assassinates several senators of our congressmen, House of Representative members of our United States government. At the same time, mass gunmen attack every state capitol building in the entire country, including Hawaii and Alaska, placing our government on lockdown. Imagine a software malware attacks every power plant, nuclear power plant, steam generation, electric plant, dam in this country within an hour of those attacks. Your television ceases to work. Your communications efforts via your cell phone or handheld device ends because the government has taken control of all, and I mean all, because of a presidential uh, general order made by Barack Hussein Obama during his eight years, for the allow, which allows for the federal government to take control of all internet access points, all cellular tower access points, all landline wired telephone access points, as well as all TV, radio, and other mass media outlets become now the pipeline for government to transmit their information with disregarding your First Amendment right. So today, I want you to sit back, look back, look forward, look to today, and imagine what it'd be like if you still had electricity you still had running water, but your communications to your loved one has now been cut off because of a general attack on this nation by whatever group that you can perceive that is capable of carrying out such a planned attack. Admiral preparedness here. Pretty scary situation. Could happen anywhere any place, any time. You must be vigil. Okay, well anyway, moving right along with today's events. I got this in the mail post today. UPS, United Parcel Services, has graciously been a transportation media for a product that I bought through uh, Emergency Essentials. They were having a big sale and I took advantage of it. These guys here are your 115 hour ruby candle and glow got them for one dollar and 65 cents a piece i believe they were on sale it was a few hour sale what we're going to do today is go and look at them and see if we can find something to give you reason to purchase them the reason why i bought it with the red globe is because in a blackout situation you want the light not to travel very far. And with the red globe, we can only get that light going out this way in the red spectrum. And when you take it out of the box, you'll understand why I like this one. <clears throat> it has the globe has an opening at the top to allow the heat to dissipate. So you don't have to worry about the top melting. You have a very, uh, we're going to call it a paraffin wax type material. It is dangerous to children, so keep it out of reach of children. Definitely keep it out of reach of children. This is for an adult only use. This is made by Emergency Essentials out of Orem, Utah. This is the Ruby. Of course, it is manufactured in China, like everything else, except for human beings so far in the United States. <clears throat> Directions, remove plastic cap, light wick 
to extinguish, blow out flame, replace cap. Well, there you go, that's pretty simple. Caution, contains flammable liquid, keep away from high temperature, store upright, which means this way. Let it store that way. Don't store it this way, don't store it the other way. Uh, when I removed the lid for the first time, I did get a, uh, a sucking sound where the air pressure was being placed into it, not expanded. Very short wick, but you can pull that wick out to whatever length you want. There, where are you at? Okay. My Nifty 550, everybody should have at least one in your house. Takes a little bit to light. Now, with that globe glowing red, and notice how it has diffusers, this will light a room up. Now, when it gets dark tonight, I will revisit this page. I'm not going to post this today. You'll see this tomorrow after the fact, but I just want to show you that it definitely is a great 115 hour lamp. It does put out a little smoke once you blow it out. And the cap fits snugly on the top. Uh, we'll be back tonight. And Admiral Preparedness here. We've got, it's in the evening now. The whole house is dark. Let's turn off the I don't know if I can do it with it off. I may have to turn it off and turn it back on, folks. Sorry. Okay. So it's not very low light, but you get the message. It definitely is a lamp where you can feel confident that you might not be able to see, but it does cast enough light where you can still see once your eyes get adjusted to the dark. <laughs> 